Sometimes we get so caught up with me, myself, and I that we forget about God to the point where we don't even try. And of course, we could come up with a whole list of excuses to use as justification. But instead, don't you think we should make up a list for some motivation? For example, one, first of all, God gave up his only son. Two, life is really not all about you. Three, God gave you talents to be all that you're meant to be. Four, you have to find your true calling and take a step through that door. Five, help out the needy because that's when you really feel alive. Six, sitting idle and success do not ever mix. Seven, it's never easy work trying to get into heaven. Eight, everyone is capable of doing something great. Nine, you got to take initiative because there's not always a sign. And ten, if Jesus was coming tomorrow, what would you do then? I just gave you 10 solid reasons to not be lazy. There's so much you can do, it's truly quite crazy. But maybe that's not enough for you. I guess I'll just have to go on. 11, please go back and refer to number seven. 12, your Bible's getting dusty laying up on a shelf. 13, you're older now, you're not a little preteen. 14, your sense of wrong and right is getting pretty keen. 15, you're at the point where your fruits are starting to be seen. 16, you got to do what you got to do and say what you really mean. 17, your choices are critical for they affect your future unseen. 18, you got to start to place your roots to move out of your teens. 19, only you will dictate if you'll grow from just a little bean. And, tw and 20, making up excuses sure helped out people plenty, right? The fact of the matter is, is that you're getting older. Things are getting a little serious, so you got to get a little bolder. Because with age comes great responsibility. But don't you worry. Because with God comes great ability. But maybe even that's not enough for you. I guess I'll just have to go on. 21. Life is so much more than just trying to have fun. 22. God has amazing plans just there waiting for you. 23. Helping others is a great blessing. You'll see. 24. Your actions dictate what's really in your core. 25. To be your very best, you really have to strive. 26, there's no problem too big for Jesus to fix. 27, again, please go back and refer to number seven. 28, everyone is capable of doing something great. 29, you gotta pick a path and stay a straight line. And 30, God can make brilliance out of something super dirty. You know, if all these reasons weren't enough for you, then changing your mind is going to be pretty tough. Because at the end of the day, only you can tell you what you're going to do. So no matter what you do, you have to choose if you're going to follow God's will. But in all that you do, and all that you say, I just want you to remember one thing, our friendly number seven. It's never easy work trying to get into heaven. Amen. смысл этого стиха было то, что мы иногда Просто заблуждаемся в нашей жизни, в наших событиях, что нам нужно сегодня сделать, завтра делать, в следующей неделе сделать. Что мы просто полностью забываем о Боге. Может быть, мы иногда запоминаем, что нужно прочитать там от час или что-то так. И это мы сделаем раз в неделю, раз в месяц. Но если мы это просто так делаем, чтобы сделать, тогда это пользу не принесет Богу. И то, что я сделал в этом стихе, это я сделал 30, как бы можно сказать, причин, чтобы нам не лениться в нашей а, службе к Богу, нашей а, молитвы к Богу, или нашей просто вере в Богу, чтобы как бы, идти за Богом. 30 причин, чтобы мы не ленились в этом, но чтобы мы старались и держались. И самое главное, которое я напомнил, это что это нелегко заходить в небо. Путь в небо это не, это не, не легкий. Иисус должен был пронести его крест через весь город. И он принял очень большое страдание. И он нам указывает, чтобы мы также это делали. Путь в небо это нелегко. Аминь.